Back again, channel open my bugger motherfucking word. Um, yeah, this popped up. I'm looking I was gonna look anyway for another Doom track, so Mad Nice. We only ever did two or three for this album. That's what's price. Yeah, now ever since I can't remember I've been living blue collar. Searching for something, trying to make a few dollars. I was never too polished and never wanna flawless. The short as used to tell me I needed a new scholar. My birthdays came instead of selling me a promise. My mom was dead honest, like yo, we ain't got it. Better be a full scholar, try to make the sun out of this whole little hood. The pink and yellow armor. Holy shit, dude, that dude's so underrated, man. <clears throat> he could destroy so many MCs. He probably has. Oh yeah, I mean, he's done just battles. in that freestyle we did. It's one of the greatest freestyles, if not the greatest, when it comes to just, I mean, it's 10 minutes. That's <laughs> straight just talking. He's sweating. Like no, no breaths. He's right? like just sweating, like, more, like he's on stage rapping in a 90 breath. degree summer day or something. <laughs> I guess they, they played at Woodstock 99, actually, uh, the Roots. Oh, really? And uh, Black Thought was wearing a fucking sleeveless uh, sweat, uh, like a like a fancy sweatshirt, like a Gucci sweatshirt with no sleeves. And he's like, in my mind, I thought I'd be cooler because, you know, there's no sleeves. But it's like fucking 95 degrees. <laughs> It's a long drawn out saga like the Godfather coming up this heart and made a nigga rock solid. Now I'm being top shot up, part of a rock baller, the boss to learn the move. Cautious is hot solder, I don't take shit for granted. I'm throwing single handed and I ain't quick. Okay, I thought it honestly, I thought it was MF Doom and he was doing like a different. Oh shit. Because I was like, man, I think. I think we've heard this song. Yeah, he's getting more like, of a nasally sound. These lyrics are Black not thought. MF Doom type lyrics. Black, it's like, crazy. Like Doom is like in the back of his throat. His the way he raps, like Black Thought. Yeah, he's just more laid nasally. back and like, like Black Thought. It's like, like all in his face. Yeah, like just, from the street. It's yeah. like I mean MF but, Doom is too, but yeah. he's more laid back about it. And that's what's amazing about like just original styles <clears> and shit, especially in the hip hop. Yeah. And like I said, like you know, in a few reactions, like just listening and like it took me a while just to like recognize someone's beats like and it's still difficult sometimes but like dj premier was one that i i could kind of i mean and we all latch on we you we hear dr dre everybody fucking knows but dj premier is right there too like he's yeah you go wow, that's that's Shaman, Shaman, legendary oh, DJ. but yeah he's got his scratches in there you gotta look out for that shit too like he's got his little signature trade so this trademarks. is a no, this Premier is beat? no, this is Doom. But I'm just saying, like, just to have the ear for, like, when you hear Doom, like, you know, like, even hearing those instrumentals is like, fuck. This yeah, is Danger that's... Doom, so it's 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 the mouse and the mask. So, yeah. is he the mouse? And the mask, <laughs> or is <laughs> there somebody who's the mouse? Is there a Danger Mouse he's or whatever? Probably, he's and he's a rapper. Ma- he's the mask, probably. Yeah. Or the producer. Dude, let us know. Like, I'm sure you guys given us details before on this album, this project. But Danger Doom, yeah, it's, I mean, the mouse and the mask, mask, so it's, I don't know, really, like, it's just one so of like, those cryptic titles. Kind so, of. like, the mouse is the, per- but the mouse is wearing the mask. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the mouse, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, right there, one. So. Because there, there was the Danger Mouse or whatever cartoon, right? Or what was that? I there was, clue. like, a spy, the spy mouse. Oh, shit. Old as fuck, too, Oh, right? yeah, like. 80s 90s i think oh, 70s okay. maybe maybe 70s. it's not like one of those super like <coughs> 50s cartoons or whatever i don't think super so old. i think it was more like i think i know what you're talking about though yeah danger, so many uh, yeah i think it was danger mouse was the name of the cartoon what it was it? i think it was an adult swim thing oh okay. kind of like what was that guy uh Space Ghost. Space Ghost. Kind of yeah. like that. And we did the Space Hose. And maybe there were two <laughs> different things. Maybe it was more like Ren, Ren and Stimpy. I, yeah, yeah that, that's like the complete title of this album, then. It's got to be like, we're just going off here, everybody. Like, yeah. Danger, like, danger Doom. The we're mouse, asking the each mouse other questions we have no answer to. We're like, it's cryptic and shit, but no, that's just the title. Like, Danger Doom, The Mouse and the Mask. That's the. Yeah. yeah and there's different versions of it. We got different album 
he Metal does Face it, Edition. He does it with every album, though. Like, there's just, like, two or three different versions of just the album cover, cover art and shit. So it's... Yeah, in the name, too, sometimes. Frankenstein's house, or it, it was like this old ass, this old like '80s TV show for oh, kids, yeah. and there was this Dracula guy, and he was Doctor Frankenstein, hmm. and then he had he had one. this big like this big fat like slave guy that worked for him called Igor, <laughs> and like they were trying to the the whole thing was, the whole premise of the show was kind of like Doctor. Frankenstein and Igor are working. Frankenstein was kicked out of his family mm. because he was a failure or something like that. Because his his creation wouldn't come to life, and and yeah. there was this there was always this uh, Frankenstein monster thing. Yeah, and he was him and Igor were always working on trying to get it mm. to come to life. But wow. then there were other segments like there was a wolf man who was a DJ, <laughs> and dude he was cool. Then there was a librarian, and he would always try to scare you with these lame stories. So it was like all the, they just took all these classic characters. And, and then, kind of and, and, and they were all, the guy who played the, the Dracula guy played, yeah. um, played the Dracula guy, the wolf man, the, oh, the no librarian, That's played crazy. this witch called uh, That's... Broomhilda or... That's saving money on uh, the budget. And she would always cook things. She would characters. always, she's like, today we're going to have, like, you know, newt eye soup. <laughs> and, like, she would add all these ingredients to this thing. She's like, now we got to go cook it. And she would Ugh. walk and bang her head. But <clears throat> the reason why I was talking about it is because Vincent Price, he did a thing in the beginning where he told this weird-ass story about, yeah. like, Dr. Frankenstein and, like, all his ghoulish friends. Yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. would laugh. <laughs> And it was cool. See the boy beat up Camaro. How you supposed to shoot for the moon with one arrow? No bow. Don't blow your hibachi. Look like a Ferrari, except it's only a Mirage. Troop it out. But... I actually want to do shit coming in. Straight and narrow as the flight of a sparrow. Stalking through the jungle, have you caro as a pharaoh with a bad toe. See the boy beat up Camaro. How you supposed to shoot for the moon with one arrow? No bow. Don't blow your hibachi. Look like a Ferrari, except it's only a Mirage. Troop it out, but choose to go to stoop it out. Cap alone in a half a moon and a putrid mouth. Keep the name out. Heck, check the repertoire. Right there where you say who kept rep, you kept it raw. Except it in the name of a law. A leopard's paw. Swept it and stepped it like Zakar and Nekabar. Ask questions later. Villain, the invader in a mask for the paper. Spent the cake on a light rice bowl. Wouldn't waste the weight on a date off the rice pole. Dice roll. It's like you know magic. Hat trick. Writing flows that make little Mikey go spastic. It's so drastic. Pass the cash quick. Don't get your monkey ass kicked for no plastic. Take it all back in the tall pack. Don't stack those at. Hit him if you need some more crap. Go pro black. That's the price for a talent bad advice. At least he got fat 20s and he mad nice. <laughs> Birdie Purdy Shuffle. Birdie Purdy. Yeah. Nice. Check out um, Jazz, man. Rick Beato. He's a YouTuber and he interviewed this guy, Birdie Purdy. And Was that the drummer he has a, he, the other day? Yeah, and he has a drum, was another he has a drum uh, Steve Gadd. style that oh, is no, all shit. his own. And like a jazz shuffle kind of? Yeah, just a shuffle this whole that song is jazz, will fit any <laughs> genre, really. Yeah, that's cool. Rick Beato, man, he interviews a lot of, you know, yeah, it took I'm, me a long time. I'm like, there's no way I'm watching any of his stuff. He's, he's got a lot of knowledge, though. Cause, yeah, he's like, yeah, right. he interviews a lot of legends, and he interviews a lot of unsung legends, like people that are well-known or even studio like, musicians or 
you hire, know the guns music, for hire. You know, you know the music they played on. You just don't know it's them. Like there's one channel, this guy Leland Sklar, and he's a bass player for like uh, Phil Collins and all these. Yeah. Dude, he played. He has one. He's played on. I guess he's played more uh, more bass than anyone has in the studio recordings or some shit. Wow. Yeah, he looks like Gandalf. Like he's. Oh, wow. Seventy something years old. He's, <laughs> he's got, yeah, every cha every time he puts a video out, he has it numbered like sixteen hundred or whatever. Wow, um, send how many? Yeah, just YouTube videos. Like you know, but yeah, he has like a long white beard. He's a legendary bass player. <laughs> thing you wrote out but you want a nice cool beat but yeah. you don't know anybody but then you you got Dude, all this music that you've listened to as a kid from your parents and all this cool stuff growing up, and you're like man if i could just so snip cool. this little piece right here and loop that i yeah. could wrap all this out on I mean, he's, he's one of the greatest producers ever too like that people really don't know about <clears throat> he's the king of the underground undisputed like him doom yeah. him immortal technique like and tech nine those are like i say those are like the top three as far as independent, just huge, right. huge, and on their stage, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, I can't think of any non-commercial. I'm not, you know, a guru. Completely independent, but yeah, Doom, I would say, because the way he came out with Operation Doomsday album, like we said, and had the deluxe edition, yeah, and like 40, 50 really fucking started, tracks, like, first album. What was this first album like? You like? You're like, this is like what? <laughs> Dude, we're, it, we could just keep going for another two Jeez. years and still find songs easily. <clears> two or three years. Be like, oh, that one. Yeah, I never heard that one. It's fucking Operation Doomsday. Fuck yeah. Yeah, right. Because that's crazy. If they come out, and maybe uh, let us know. Did he come out with like the deluxe uh, edition right away, or was that something later on, like an anniversary? It'd be so type cool thing. to get like a box yeah. set. Ten years later, Doom or like you know, like, an MF Doom box set, version. or where it's just like tons of unreleased. Tons of, yeah. <laughs> and you get like <laughs> you imagine with his vault, like, dude. You know, just you know, like get dude. a mouse sticker with a mask on it, and like dude, Doom's vault got to be crazy just like dr dre's vault and shit like unreleased material like you know what i mean yeah just a lot of artists like that like dilla and i guess there were just like rock kim tried did we talk about this he tried working with dre it didn't work i think you kind of touched on it yeah they never their their styles because he wanted them to be more like gangster and shit yeah yeah and, and rock and kim's like rock that's kim, just even not on me. It, in his uh they, book, did, they just couldn't like, they couldn't mesh who was that first guy mc i don't know uh red man was supposed no, to the work first with the first uh producer he was gonna work with and he was like nah I mean, what are you doing like give it more attitude and like be more nasty with it. <clears throat> He's just like, nah, man. This is this is my style, dude. Like, that was that was Dre that was saying that. I think. No, uh, it was in the book. Oh, um, um, it wasn't Eric B. It was his first. No, him and Eric. I think him and Eric B. Started out right yeah, together, yeah, yeah. but they when they and like Eric B is like, dude, this is the way he's always rapped. Like he won't. He won't oh, ever change Marley me. Marl. Marley, yes, Marley Marl. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. Legendary producer. Brought I kept whole, seeing like an M and I'm like it's MC something like DJ Premier like, said that Marley Marl brought a fucking he, he, some people had hit records hit songs he brought an era to hip hop right, yeah because he was doing different production that no one ever heard before right his stops or whatever the fuck you go back like we did the symphony reaction that's got rocks in Shantae and I wonder if the Juice Crew and that shit is Marley Marl back. still with us yeah I think he's still he was in the Hip Hop Evolution do documentary Doom on Netflix tracks? a few years ago. Did he ever do Doom tracks? Like, Doom has him? Oh, I'm sure everyone's. He's one of those producers that he was doing his shit so long ago that everyone's sampled his shit too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm sure Doom. Yeah, yeah we. It's, yeah. Again, it goes back yeah, to that. He's like, uh, I can't work with him, but. 
It goes back to that, though. Whether it's a hip-hop producer from the 80s it. or seven, late 70s, or it's a legendary bass player that's played on every fucking rock song we've heard. Yeah. Like, we've heard motherfuckers sample all this shit. It's crazy. <clears throat> I remember being young <clears throat> and learning that Eddie Van Halen did all the guitar work on the Bad Album. Well, he did, and yeah. Like, and, like, adults around me just going, no way! I guess no! he, ne- he never wrote the... Uh, it's like, the I guess Michael already had that because there's a Steve Lukather. You know who Steve Lukather is? He was a guitar player. Yeah, that Toto, sounds familiar. Yeah. Legendary. Another another guy uh, we've heard Beato, tons I of think, his. They interviewed, interviewed him. him. <laughs> another guy we've heard every song he's played guitar on so many fucking songs. Um, but no, he he because he worked on that too. He worked on that. He said Michael Jackson already had that. Right. He's like he's like if I had he's like if I would have wrote that. Um, yeah, those paychecks are yeah. so fucking big. You don't have to worry about anything ever. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that's one of the greatest Jackson. guitar licks of all He's time. bigger than him. Yeah. You know, kind of like Dire Straits, the yeah. Money for Nothing, Chicks for Free riff. But yeah, I'm not sure how much, Eddie, you think Eddie wrote all the guitar? You heard that he wrote no, all the guitar? No, he, he, he did I know he came up with a solo he did a, he, like, on that fucking thing. You could just definitely like, the shit. Most of the, the rock guitar on the album is Eddie Van Halen. Like, even like the, 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 the rip, na 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 I'm pretty sure I don't think he wrote Eddie that. Van Halen, he didn't write it, but he tracked it on the oh, yeah, song. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But wow. Eddie Van Halen did all that work. Most of the guitar. <clears throat> like, everything you heard on that album was Mostly Eddie him. singing or playing. I think, like I said, so. Steve Lukather did some bits, but, yeah. He's, he even talked about that. Eddie was there mostly, yeah, working on that shit. It's just crazy. Yeah. Crazy talking about music. Because, you know, like, we're, we're taught one thing that, you know, these two cultures don't mix. Oh, and then, don't. And then, you know... You know what the when it does mix, you're like, wow, that's crazy, man. I wonder. I wish I knew who that was, and then you find out who it is, and you're in you know so what? denial because they don't mix. Yeah. You can't have Eddie Van Halen, and Michael Jackson on the same album, and it's good. I know, you know? this. I know this for sure that <clears throat> when he did that, but you can't. When Eddie did all that, he's like, don't. I don't want any. You don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry about payment. Well, I mean, he didn't accept no payment though. Really? Yeah. Like, no. Right. Yeah. He's like just. Yeah. He has Van Halen thing. But he didn't know. He tripping on the money and shit. <laughs> oh, he yeah. He didn't know that. How massive. He probably was going to be oh, he probably the been greatest a billionaire Michael Jackson before album he passed. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> Just from that that album, that project. Yeah, because Michael, like I said, who's bigger than Michael Jackson? That's even to this day. Like, he's. The, the but, like, a Michael a Jackson a song that really grabs me is the. All I want to say is that he really don't care about us. That song where he just and he just chants it over and over again, and then there's like this choir that comes That's probably the one where Tupac like, took that. Oh he, my Tupac god. Tupac did a song called They Don't Give a Fuck About Us. So oh, really? doing that chant too. Though. Yeah, oh, that's probably where he got it. There's a Michael Jackson. It, it was, I think it came out in the 90s. Yeah, okay. And like, uh, it, it's it's a cool tune. Like, hit us up. I mean, he was a bad dude. You know what I mean? He could dance. Nobody can touch that shit. But I mean, he could sing too. Like, his oh, voice yeah. was so tuned in and like, I watched something to, too where because he's like he's like Metallica growling when he when he's singing dude, it and it's just like Jesus he was one of Christ. he was one of the greatest they don't do that greatest entertainers ever though just to watch him on stage yeah. uh, it's like when he would do that fall forward thing yeah the gravity and it, and fall and it, and or whatever it's way farther than anybody <laughs> ever should be able to I don't care how your pants are he could or do that without being like, attached could, to wires and shit. Dude, <laughs> oh, wow. it's like watching. We'll have to watch. We'll have to maybe react to some of his shit sometime. But also watching James Brown in the seventies. Oh. Holy they motherfucker! Wouldn't, you couldn't watch. You couldn't watch Elvis Presley dance. Dude. But there's watch James Brown the way, just killing it. We'll have to watch one of his old videos because the way <clears> his <throat> whole presence around the microphone and how he would. Because yeah. he would like fall to the ground. He would like sing. Yeah. And like, ah, and, like yeah. throw the microphone. Ah. It would it would almost hit the floor and then snap back and he'd start singing again. He'd do the split. Because growing up, up, we didn't have a cable. We didn't have a lot of channels. It was only like three channels that we could watch. Uh, the American channel, the Canadian channel, and PBS. That's yeah. the way we named them because That's all the Channel was. 6 was Forever. Canada, yeah. CBC, 
Channel 8 was local plus whatever they would put on the local channel for, for, you for know, a national time. syndicate, and then PBS. And so, I mean, we watched a lot of old con Like, there was this old guy, <laughs> and it hurts to try, like, he returned, and, like, do this weird thing with his voice. I can't, he's yeah. a well-known, like, singer oh, from, shit. like, the 50s, 60s, 40s. And, like, oh, man, it was so cool to watch. <laughs> Just like, what is he doing? <laughs> That's like, he's singing, man. Like, listen. Yeah, fucking James Brown, man. Wow. James Brown and Michael Jackson. Nobody dance. No one's ever going to dance like that again at that level. <laughs> yeah. At that level, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I, and they, they, uh, he did the collaboration I mean, with... Maybe uh, the only other one that can is um, his sister, Janet Jackson. Yeah. She's did we ever watch that video where James Brown did a cl the It's a Man's 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 World with uh, Luciano? Yeah, I think so. I think because he, he does this. I think it's on Patreon. Oh, okay. He did his fucking operatic. We did that, and we did. Uh, Dude, the operatic approach to that. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was insane, man. Maybe we didn't. His range I don't know. Was Let's crazy. put it on. Let's find out. Another video or twenty-one minutes, please. <laughs>